how far back can I like? I know they're going to set up another. They want to have another uh, telescope that they're going to have yeah, to try to several, see the yeah. beginning of time. How far back can Hubble actually see? Actually, Hubble is what taught us the age of the universe. Uh, it's 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 an old telescope now, right? It was designed in the in the seventies and eighties yeah, and times. launched in the early nineties, and we fixed it several times. Uh, but the 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 big James Webb telescope that's going up in a couple of years, it'll it'll be orders of magnitude. Yeah, you a lot of it is just math, right? And from Hubble, we've we've shown how old the universe is, which is like thirty. But aren't they trying to see the beginning old. of like the, the the bang? How far? How close to seeing the the bang or whatever it is? Well, you're looking at echoes, right? Um, and uh, because obviously the bang sort of happened everywhere thirteen and a half billion years ago, and from Antarctica because of the. Uh, it's sort of an undisturbed place to look at the universe where we can see some of the earliest echoes of the first fractions of a second of the Big Bang with the background explorer. We're just starting to see wow. um, see some of that. And, we're, we're, you know, we're just idiots. We're just figuring yeah, isn't this it stuff still, out. Isn't that, aren't we just, isn't that kind of what the... Sometimes I think that that's what our, the feeling is inside of people. Like, the sort of you know, there's always a desperate kind of scared feeling inside. Yeah. It's because we're still in the middle of an explosion. Like, isn't isn't it just oh. like there's a... There was this big boom, and we're all flying. I mean, we're flying through space we're a little bits of at flotsam. a gazillion miles per hour, we're and we're a little, like, it's scary, but we're in denial of it. But when you go, to, like, right before you go to sleep and you need to watch Family Guy so that you can <laughs> not feel so bad, isn't it because you're, we're going, ah, like, forever, well, in a way? I don't know. It's just, you can get all worried about it, or you can recognize it and just try and understand what's going on. What about uh, life out there? You believe there's more than just us? Um, yeah, people phrase it that way, right? Do you believe in aliens? Like it's a belief system or something. Right, right. I'm like always puzzled faith. that people ask that. Do you believe in aliens? It's like, do you believe Because we don't have any proof, I Do guess, you believe so in you addition? Gotta, yeah. You know, right. no, I don't believe in addition. One plus one equals two. Right. We, and we have never seen any evidence of aliens. Right. So, however, so then it's a matter of uh, what are the odds? Do you think it's possible that there were people on Mars and they cooked over like... Well, there's lots of pieces of Mars on Earth because yeah. when an asteroid crashed into Mars, it hit it so hard it knocked bits of Mars that then flew through space for a while and mm -hmm. fell to Earth. And we've walked out on the ice in Antarctica where a little wow. meteorite came down, bounced, rolled to a stop, and sat there on the ice waiting for us to go pick it up. Wow. And we've picked up pieces of Mars lying on the ice no in Antarctica. It's really hard to get your mind around how long the world has been here, how long it's supported life and just what a little uh, gnat of a thing on the end of it we are. And we blow ourselves way out of proportion. Yeah, do you get a, like, when I'm out, like, uh, in a natureful place, like on a beach, and there's, like, a mist in the air, and yeah. it's, I get this feeling like uh, the planet's working. Like, when I see something that I'm used to seeing, I'm like, it's okay, because everybody's scared now that we broke yeah. it. Uh, so when you're up there, do, do you think... Yeah, it's it's working, or do you feel like we're well, making a dent and we're well, hurting it? Or? Yeah, to, to say we broke it is wrong, of course. Yeah. You know, uh, just 15,000 years ago, glaciers were here, right? Glaciers covered most of New York. The ice was miles thick over 15,000 years ago. 15,000 years ago. That's not long ago. ago at all. It's not very long ago. Yes, we had that kind of winter this year, yeah, though. Yeah, I know, I know. I was <laughs> in Toronto this year. But, <laughs> so there are enormous changes go on all the time. We're... We're making a mess of things, right? Seven billion of us exhaling and driving cars and turning the lights on. That has a big impact, naturally. Yeah. It has to. Wow. When, when you step out the first time, like when you step out uh, and you're doing your first spacewalk, what, what is that like? I guess you're looking down at the planet. Well, there's no down, right? So oh. so you, you're actually, um, you're sort of looking up or across at the world. You, you In the movie uh, Gravity, mm -hmm. there's, there's, a, <laughs> there's some technical accurate, problems right? with gravity, <laughs> yeah. but the sense of enormous three-dimensionality the sense of of being separate from the world that is right and you really feel that the world more feels like it's above and beside you like you're going around the sun together with the world and it is um you know, we're used to seeing the world uh, like a globe you know in the library that's sort of shiny and smooth mm -hmm. the world looks nothing like that, it is. It's like a blob. Right? No, no, it's text. No, no, the camera. No, I know what it's like. Don't tell me what the world. Is. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> What is CK's complete knowledge? Yeah, is that what yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, the world is, is is textures and colors. It's more like looking at uh, you know a jungle under under a super harsh light that's moving. So you, you see stuff different every single time. You talked about the uh, which one was it that came through uh, recently that uh, the Columbia. 
Yeah. That went that went through the atmosphere, and Came I know apart. you knew. What was his name? Rick Husband. Rick Husband and I went to test pilot school together. Rick and I sang together. He was a singing waiter, and uh, and that's how he put his way through Texas Tech as a singing waiter. Great guy, and uh, he was the commander of Columbia, and it had a hole in the wing, and we uh, we kind of just hoped we didn't do our job right and they came back into the atmosphere that hole in the wing acted like a funnel like a blowtorch uh, the heat of re-entry melted the left wing off and the vehicle came apart and killed all the people on board and uh, so you guys saw that while it was still out there and uh, did you well, determine that we can't fix it or we did not know we knew that a, a a piece of the, the tank, the foam had come off and, and bounced off the wing. But there was no way to actually look at the wing. We didn't have a robot arm on that flight, so we couldn't reach around and look. You couldn't see it from the windows. We tried to look with telescopes from the ground, but it's black on black. We couldn't see. So, uh, well, at some point, the, you just had, you just had the only way we could have done it was to do a spacewalk and go out and look underneath the big radiator mm -hmm. and see. And we decided, we decided, when I say we, I mean NASA, we said, now we think we're okay. And we were wrong and we killed the crew. We learned a lot from that. If you had done that spacewalk and seen that, is there a way to repair that at, at that time? Now there is. At the time, we didn't really have a way to repair it. We would have scrambled everything. We would have put those guys into as, as hibernation a mode as we could, you know, to minimum oxygen usage, try and get them to be able to stay up longer than a shuttle's ever stayed, and scramble to try and get another one launched. The... But then, of course, launching another shuttle... <laughs> Obviously, we don't have that system You're perfect. Doubling the so, risk. Yeah, yeah, you know, you risk couldn't have got them to the space station though. Was no, they're in the wrong orbit for the space station. It's like a bicycle tire spinning one way and another one spinning another way. You can't get off one spinning tire and get on the other one. Yeah. They're, they're in different orbits. Oh, and you can't. The and there's there's so much energy. You know, the shuttle weighs uh, two hundred and fifty thousand pounds and it's going um, five miles a second. So you can't just turn. 